happy that we are doing this. So, what's going on? Be nice. Both girls, okay? Y'all got me in the midst. I feel like I'm sitting in between two demons. Nice. You know, one of the things that I love most about you was your whole career is based off of you going after your dreams, but more importantly, because of your children. You're a single mother, you've been doing this for like, probably from the time you had them on your own, taking care of your own family. All of those things are why I relate to you so much. You know my situation. I know some of it. You know enough. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to think that I came to you with the drama that's, but that's going how I on. Felt. I felt like it was a big moment for me. It was all about me celebrating, you know, the keys to the region. Right. And then, you know, you wanted to make it about something else and the safari and the drama. And it has, it has Not really, because me. from what I'm gathering and what was told to me, you received voice notes of safari saying that I was upset with the fact he felt some type of way about what was happening to you. Mm -hmm. Were you upset? No. Okay. I was actually upset what was happening to you, yeah. So much so that me and my friend, we fasted for two days. I didn't, you know, I prayed. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. So, hey guys, what's going on? What's cooking, what's cracking? I know I have on my blue hair today, but I just came on live real quick to ask you guys a question. Normally when I'm with my kids, I have on my black hair because I'm Grace Hamilton, okay? But I had a spice moment, so I had to keep my blue wig on. But I'm really Grace Hamilton, really, and, you know, because I'm with my kids. So, more ask when I have a quick question because I'm driving with my kids. And my son said, actually, my son said, oh, mommy, you, you, you just, you're too strict with Ty. And I'm like, what do you mean? Me too strict with Ty. And Ty say, yeah, mommy, because you know, want me do my nails and me see pick me, I do them nails and you know, want me do this and you know, want me do that. So I say, sometimes as parents, we gotta listen to the kids. So may I try to figure out if you guys think I'm too strict with my daughter. She's actually 12 years old. 20, 20, 20. <laughs> yeah, I touch her ball. My mother said 30, 13. So, for those of you who don't know, this is Nicola Toy. Hi. She's just coming from the pool, so her hair is all over the place. Don't mind her hair. I don't know, Nicola, so ready? Hey, what will I do? What will I do? How can I say it then, then? Anyway, they feel like I'm too strict. And I want to hear from you guys the best is. Nobody pick up for them because they're my kids. See? No nails yet. I like that, bestie. Bestie, I like that. So I say, let's be let let let's let's talk to the besties out there. I'm gonna talk to my best friends real quick because I wanna know if you feel like I'm too strict as a parent, okay? These two kids feel like I'm too strict. So let's have a reasoning. Someone says short nails is okay. No nails, no nails. All right, my besties are no. talking. You can't read. You can't read, Ty. Read. <laughs> they feel like I am being too strict because Ty is just 12. And sometimes, you know, to each is all. We can't really judge people as parents. But she sees other kids who is probably her age that is getting certain stuff done. And so she wants to get stuff done and I'm like, no, 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 no. I keep telling her, you're a baby. She's like, I'm not a baby. You're a little girl. I'm big. Short nails is okay. Just a little polish. She don't get no polish. Don't show the people. She gets no polish. Um and she wants to get the braid with the little twisted eye. What the braid name? Bo boho, boho, you better go bo book. You better go bo book, bo bo. Yo, guys, I Spice and Eric Mina actually got into a heated exchange during a lunch outing that actually uh, was arranged uh, just recently at the Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. All, well, of course, discussing Erica's marriage to Safari. Tensions, of course, turned to insults and words were thrown around. An adept that physical uh, altercation was also almost um, being involved. Of course, after Spice targeted Eric 
Mina's relationship with her eldest son, that is King Mina, uh, the temples were flipped. Although the show crew prevented, of course, these two women uh, from getting into an altercation, of course, some objects, according to reports, were thrown around and hurled insults were one of those things that were heard across the restaurant where they, are, they were having um, lunch together. At one point, by the way, they say Eric Mina even proclaimed that the Jamaican singer should have died during her recent health scare that happened actually last year when when she got um, some health related issues also Erika Mena labeled her castmate a blue monkey by the way which has caught the attention of not only those in the US but the entire world that actually follows the love and hip hop um, stars of Atlanta this slur or these words that were thrown around of course had racism undertones and personally i didn't like them and of course while leaving the venue and after the aftermath she has come out via her social media that is eric men and said it was a joke it was just some random words thrown around but i don't agree with that I guess Eric Mena will come out and apologize uh, for using such racism, racist slurs, racist words uh, which actually were thrown around. They are not words that the youngsters or the young people can really hear because indeed in this world no one would want to work or live with someone who is a racist. I hope Eric Mena comes out and she apologizes other than hiding herself in things like it was a joke it was just some a, a, a mere line that was thrown around no 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 come on come out and apologize